David McDaniel with Action Pack Networks. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick troubleshooting example of how to resolve one of the most common problems we've seen with QoS with our customers. So in this network we have today, we have a 1941 series router on the left, a Catalyst 6500 in the middle, and another 1941 series router on the right. So let's go ahead and just look straight into the 1941 series router on the left to see what kind of traffic we have leaving this router. So we can see we have a standard QoS policy uh, applied to this router. We've got some call signaling traffic, some voice traffic, as well as some default traffic coming out of this router. So this traffic's been marked with DSCP, it's been prioritized coming out of this router, and it's going straight into the 6500. So let's go to the router on the far side. We'll look and see what kind of traffic's coming in. So we see here, all the traffic coming in at this point is marked default. It's not being classified in the proper way. So the only thing that this could be is the router in the middle. So we're going to jump straight into the Catalyst 6500 and see if uh, it has the problem that we think it has today. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the 6500 here, right click and go to open command line to device. What we're looking for here is if the, if the Catalyst 6500 has been set up to trust the DSCP markings on its ingress interface. So the Catalyst 6500 by default, if QoS is enabled, will remark all the traffic to zero if it's not trusted. So that's what we think is going on today. So we're just going to do a quick show command of that ingress port from the left side. So we'll just do a quick show run of that GIG 46 interface. And we can see that we're not trusting the DSCP markings there. So if we jump into that interface here, We'll just make a quick change, MLS, QoS, Trust, DSCP, and let's switch over to our far side router and see if that fixed the problem. So we can see here, our traffic is still in class default here. If we wait a couple polling periods here, we should see that traffic move if this is going to resolve our issue. There we go. We see that Trusting that DSC part on the ingress of the Catalyst 6500 has resolved the issue. So if you have a 6500 in your network and you don't think your QoS is operating correctly even though you think you have it configured, uh, check out where you're trusting your DSCP markings. Once again, this is David with Action Pack Networks. Check out our tool Live Action for troubleshooting QoS uh, from end to end in your network.